On this video we fit a TV aerial. Louis and I pop up to the North York Moors for a night. We test out the CCTV, the GPS, and we pop into a modified car show. Thanks to everybody's comments about Louis, and I'm pleased to tell you his paws all back to normal now. He's back out on his field running. Well, as you can see, my camper van has two TVs. It's got one here in the kitchen area. This one was actually fitted when we got the camper van, and it's on a swivel so you can move it in various places. We don't really use them very often, to be honest. But there's um, another one in the back as well, there. and they're both DVD players. Now, the aerial system on this is quite old fashioned, really. It's one of these caravan ones that you push up and then wind up. And uh, it works okay. I don't think it's the best, but it works okay. But it's a bit unsightly, and uh, of course, when it's been fitted, it's actually been drilled through the roof as well. So, I've purchased one of these just off Amazon. I think it was about 10 quid, 11 pound. Again, I'll put the link below, and it comes with a standard coaxial male plug on the end. And my plan is to put this on a bracket on the roof. It is magnetic, but I'm actually going to sycaflex it to the bracket, I think, on the side of the van, on the opposite side to where my Wi-Fi aerial is. And run the cables through the back like I did before. And then into the top of this cupboard, where at the back of this, the aerial, original aerial goes through to a aerial booster. And then out the aerial booster goes to both the TVs. So we'll have a go at fitting that now. The fitting on the actual aerial booster is known as an F connector, which is one like this. This is a screw case like that, and it's got a central bit of coax in the middle. You can buy these pre-made as this one is, or you can actually buy the plugs and put up on a standard piece of coax. But the plug on this one is actually a standard coax plug, which would plug into an old-fashioned TV socket. Now, I could cut this off, but it's a very thin coax cable. So, I've managed to buy a pre-made cable, and I found a screw-on adapter. This piece here just screws on to convert it to a female enabling me to put enabling me to put the male TV connector into the like so like that so this bit just literally screws into the F connector to convert it now the only thing I'm hoping is that this small length of cable that's on here is going to be long enough to get from the bracket and into the back of the van underneath the seal so I don't have a connector outside so to make sure we don't get any water ingress. As you can see the other cables I run for the CCTV cameras are all through that seal and there's no water ingress there at all. There was a few people commented that it let water in but it doesn't and all this panel on top of the door is still dry. So that works very well, that type of process, and just to save you drilling holes in your roof. I don't want any holes drilling in my van, minimum as possible. What I plan to do in this corner is to pull the rubber off again and run the cable, enabling the cable to be in here and um, out of the way for when I put the connector on. So if you remember, I fitted a Wi-Fi aerial on there. There is a, another video about that. It's Gadget John's idea actually, I just copied him um, and got it on a bracket out the way. The bracket is sticking out from the side of the van and that's because when I put the canoes and the roof racks on the top it doesn't get in the way for them. So I'm thinking of doing something similar on the other side for this TV aerial if the cable's long enough. So these are the brackets. I use these brackets for my awning on the side of the roof rack and then I used one for my Wi-Fi aerial. So the idea is it fits over the top, gets bolted through, fits over the top of the roof rack, gets bolted through here with a stainless nut bolt, and then the actual hair reel. As I say, it's magnetic, but I'm going to sicker flex it on as well just to make sure it's secure. Fastened on there, and I've just been on the roof, and the cable is just long enough, thankfully. So I won't have a connector outside, and I can put it where I want it to be. Hey, hey let's get it fitted. 
By the way, these brackets are actually from a hardware shop. Uh, they're from B&Q if you're from the UK. And they're actually fence brackets and they come powder coated brown and I just spray them black. And they're absolutely fantastic. I was going to make some brackets to hold the awning on the side of the roof rack. And I went to B&Q to buy a bit of steel um, and found these and they've been tremendous and they're about a couple of quid each. So it saves a lot of work. And they're all pre-drilled and as I say they were powder coated already. I've just sprayed them black so they fit the van. So there's the bracket fastened on the roof. That's the old TV aerial that slides this way and then it pushes up and then you can rotate it to get a signal. It works but um, it's a bit cumbersome. Sikaflex is the glue I'm going to use, the bonding compound I'm going to use to actually fasten the aerial to that bracket. As I say it is magnetic but this will ensure that it doesn't come off. If you've never seen this before it's absolutely amazing stuff. You can literally, and we have done, stick parts to boats that are off out to sea and it'll stay on there. My solar panels are stuck on with this, no drilling needed, so it's fantastic stuff. It's quite expensive though, it's probably about 15-20 quid a tube of this size, but it is really really good stuff. So I get a better seal with the Sikaflex. I've taken the rubber pad off the bottom. This is obviously on there so you don't scratch the roof of your vehicle but I don't want any water to get in so I've taken that off. I'll put a smear of Sikaflex around here and stick it on the bracket. And then just need to run the cable to the back and then do the, do the work inside. Well I'll take it that's working. Since it's picking up 90 channels and 32 radio channels. And the one in the back is doing the same. 38 channels found already. So I class that as a success. Yep, that's working well. Turn the sound off so I don't get any copyright strikes. But that's doing really well. I don't know if you can see in the back of there, but there's a green light, which is the aerial amplifier showing it's got full signal. And again, that one's working well with full signal. So two of them working off that small aerial through the aerial booster. I think it's actually a better signal than it is from the old aerial. Anyway, that's another job done. So that cable's sicker flex to the roof. And there's the aerial. <laughs> With a blob of sicker flex hanging out of it. I probably need to cut that off, don't I? That's quite a good feature. It actually shows you your first turning and then your second turning in the top left hand corner. I've just changed route from the suggested route on the GPS. I obviously go up here quite often so I know all the back roads. And um, it just picked up a new route straight away, no problem, recalculated very quickly. We're up on the malls, just heading into Gothland. Usual traffic. <laughs> Louis already, he knows where he's at. We're off to the pub, Dad. Yes, we're off to the pub, sir. I'm going to stay on the campsite tonight just for ease. He's really good at travelling in the front seat, is Louis. He knows where he is. He's been to this campsite that many times and know exactly where he is. Don't you, Lou? <laughs> Hey fella, you know where we're at, don't you? And the sun's still out, I'm pleased to say. This is Abbott's House Farm, caravan and campsite, just outside of Gothland. Here we are, one man and his whippet, all set up in Gothland. You alright Louis? There's that hard point I fitted recently, it's got a long climbing sling on there. That gives him enough room to get in and out and go on the seat or on the bed. Hey Lou, bit of a mat out because of all the rain it's a little bit muddy. We've put the awning up. And because the forecast is bad and it's been bad weather, we have the place to ourselves. Woohoo! 
Nice, peaceful campsite. Saying that, you watch. There'll be a rock party turn up or something tomorrow. <laughs> We're only here for one night. The van's looking pretty good. You excited, Louis? Hmm? You ready for a spot of lunch? Hmm? What do you reckon? We're at the campsite up in Gulfland where we've been many a time. It's one of our favourite sites. And I've just tried the TV with that new aerial. And there's a full signal. Incredible. So that little stumpy aerial is actually bigger and better for signal power than the big caravan elevating rotating aerial. Quite impressive, really. Are you a professional pub dog? Are you? It's really dark out there now. I'm just checking the cameras. Still gives a good picture. It's lost its colour, now it's getting dark. It's raining and cloudy out there as well. But you'd still see if there was anybody out there. What do you reckon, Louis? Are you not impressed? <laughs> Is it time for bed? Drive a faster car, lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna drive. Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be some.
thanks for watching. Um, I'm getting lots and lots of questions and lots of suggestions for videos. So um, I can't get everything into my videos and the very specific some of the requests. So what I'm going to try to do is um, we have an Instagram account. I'll put the link below. And uh, if somebody sends me a message and asks for like a more information about something or a, a tour of the van or various bits of information or kit I've got fastened to the van, I'll uh, do a very quick video on there and then everybody can see it on there and it's a lot easier to do than trying to put it into one of our YouTube videos with all the editing and everything else that goes with it. So I hope you found that useful. Any comments or anything, just list them below. And again, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.